Nous allons maintenant témoigner un moment historique avec un, la signature d'un protocole d'accord de coopération militaire et technique entre la République du Sénégal et la République de Guinée. Pendant que les honorables ministres gagnent leur place, je passe la parole à la, au président de la Commission pour modérer cet événement. Merci. Your Excellencies, the last item on the agenda of our opening ceremony is the signature of a military and technical memorandum of understanding between the Republic of Guinea and the Republic of Senegal. As we all know, for some time, the border between these two important members of our community has unfortunately been closed. I thought it necessary before the summit to make the effort to see whether it would be possible to chart a roadmap for the reopening of the border, having regard especially to the commitment to the free movement of goods and services uh, and people, the respect of which is fundamental to the health of our community. I went to Dakar to see the distinguished president of Senegal, His Excellency Macky Sall, to seek his views. I went also to Conakry to seek the views of our doyen, His Excellency Professor Alpha Conde, the president of Guinea. As a result of these interactions and the direct discussions between the two leaders, we've been able to arrive at this moment where the first step towards the reopening of the border will be taken by the signature of the ministers for defense of the two countries of this memorandum of understanding. The essence is, I'm very glad to be part of this solemn moment which offers us the opportunity to celebrate dialogue and solidarity in our region through this ceremony. In September 2020, the Republic of Guinea decided, due to security threats, to close its land borders with three of its neighboring countries, namely Guinea-Bissau, Senegal, and Sierra Leone. As we all know, our region has been dealing with the resurgence of the terrorist phenomenon in recent years, with recurrent attacks which claim a significant number of victims, especially civilians. Faced with this situation, a process of dialogue has been initiated between the, these states, which has already enabled the reopening of the Guinea-Sierra Leonean border, which is a source of great delight. I'd like to congratulate my brothers, Their Excellencies Professor Alpha Conde and Julius Madabio, for their spirit of cooperation and openness, which has made it possible to achieve this beneficial result for the development of their countries and the entire region. This process of dialogue has continued between the Republic of Guinea and the Republic of Senegal, and has resulted in a happy ending, which has earned us the pleasure and honor of this ceremony. The two countries have agreed after discussions to a military cooperation agreement with a view to ensuring the security management of their common border. I'd like on behalf of the Conference of Heads of State and Government to extend my warm congratulations to our brothers, Their Excellencies Professor Alpha Conde, President of the Republic of Guinea, and Macky Sall, President of the Republic of Senegal. I'd like to assure them of our support and our fraternity within the framework of this important agreement, which allows the implementation of the process of reopening of their common border. I'd like them to encourage them to continue along the path of dialogue and solidarity in accordance with the spirit of the ECOWAS Treaty, which has made them fund foundational principles of our common organization. I firmly believe that a similar initiative will soon take place 
allowing us hopefully, hopefully one day to reopen the land border between the Republic of Guinea and the Republic of Guinea-Bissau. I'd like to end my, my remarks by thanking all the heads of state and government of ECOWAS who accompanied this process, thus demonstrating their constant commitment to the deepening of regional integration in West Africa. Thank you for your attention. Thank Please, you. Uh, the security, can you ask the photographer to move on the side to allow the head of state to follow the situation? Je dois, je dois aller là-bas. To permit the, the Excellencies to observe the signing, please. Thank you very much. We thank the honorable ministers. Thank you. The. Yes, the president of Guinea Bissau. Muito obrigado, senhor presidente Nana. Mas. Estou a assistir aqui, sinceramente, ninguém percebe. E eu não percebemos porque não há guerra entre Guiné, eh, Senegal e a República de Guiné-Conakry. O espírito da amizade da CDAO, temos que dizer a verdade ao Presidente Alfa. Ele não tinha direito de fechar as fronteiras com Guiné-Bissau e Senegal e, nomeadamente, a Sierra Leone. Ah. E eu nunca farei uh, uh, trazer aqui President, please, os ministros please. para assinarem isso. Mr. President, please, thank you very much. But I don't think that we need to retrace those steps. Um, I'm going to have to call you out of order. Um, we will now bring our, uh, our, our, our opening ceremony to a conclusion. And we'll take four, five minutes for us to be able to clear the room so that the heads of state can go into closed session. Thank you. Thank you. The opening ceremony has now come to an end. We will ask our members our partners of the press to please redraw. The authority will continue its deliberations in a closed door format. The formula is one plus three. We therefore ask all those who are not accredited for the closed door session to please leave the room. Thank you. <laughs>